In this lesson, we will be playing Hogwarts Legacy. Now we have finally made it to Hogwarts. We will be attending a couple of our classes. Unfortunately, Mr. Potter was stealing from my supplies again and dislodged some cables. Therefore, the audio will not be up to my usual standard. But do not worry, as Mr. Potter will be punished for his crimes accordingly. Let's begin. Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Um, dear, what task may you be forcing me to do? You're the new student, aren't you? Yes, am I meant to be speaking with you? Well, thank you for that insightful conversation. Oh, how dare you cast your spell like that against me? Let's head on up here, see what there is to be seen. Some chess is being... Ah, another cat. Very nice to see. Hitting the cat must always pay respects to the cats as you pass them back. I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't Boots and it wasn't Flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, these poor students indeed, how terrible. Ah, oh, we have another of these, well, should be easy enough for us three, plus zero, three of course. And what makes it five, well, two, so we need whatever the heck this is, I think it's a grab horn, there we are. And then the second one. Right above this student's head, I hope, and they don't mind using that. So four plus one here for the unicorn, five. So we need seven, which is whatever this creature here is, so we'll find that. Here we go, and in we go. Oh my, what on earth happened then? I seem to be inside my own head. What is in here? We have a chest. Very good. Crimson Quidditch gloves. A second pair of Crimson Quidditch gloves. We can start stocking the whole team. A gift from Draco's father. I'm still struggling with antidotes. Struggling with antidotes, is he then? Well, he should be taking my classes, really, shouldn't he? Oh, very nice astronomy time. How inconvenient travel was before I invented flute. Yes, you keep saying that. <laughs> Peeves again, oh dear. He's almost alone, following please, us around. Or I'll call the Baron. Why the bloody Baron would help out this Hufflepuff student, I don't know. He is, of course, the house ghost of Slytherin. Obviously, many of you may know what happened in the Astronomy Tower, and we will not be speaking of it in at all today. Or any day. Let's hand back down. Continue with our questing. Rebellion. Well, we found another of these. How interesting. I do believe we can find this one here. Ah, uh, here we go. Just like that. And then take it down all the way. And release the spell, and there we have it. Easy enough. The field guy page. Very good. 20 points to our house. Who is giving us the points, however? For that, I am not sure, but the points were, of course, deserved. We have ventured on our way here. What have we got here? I'm pleased to hear that I've received word from my contacts at Cambridge, who conceded that they had, in fact, been incorrect in their understanding of meteor showers. Not really sure what this has anything to do, but we will take it nonetheless. Unfortunately, we cannot put things back once we have picked them up. They are ours. Peeves again. Yes, indeed. I get the distinct impression Peeves may be following us around. That is not something 
I like at all. The old guy, Paige and D. And this time, we even have Akio there. We caught it just like that. Look at this fellow here with the floating books above his head. How brilliant. We've located one of the muffs here. The only problem being, we don't know where this muff is meant to go. Ah, straight into the toilets. Not what I meant to do there. Why someone left a chest in there, however, does confuse me. Level one lock. What if we just leap off there? Ah, that might be it. Can we get down to that? You see in the frame down there, come on, a bit of parkour. I'm sure you can survive that floor fall. No, I guess not. And if we continue this way, we should be able to get to the frame. There we go. And release the spell, and all is done. Very good. Let's take this field guide here. There's a lot of people heading around here. We might as well have a spot of tea with them. Like the British people we are. Defense against the dark uh, already in mid lesson it see. Good dear. Professor Hackett. Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity. I quite like this that. teacher. Oh already practice what we've just learned. Starting with something small. Alright, Levio, sir, let's do this. And up we go, easy enough. Why is it always the new student who is forced to do this? Basic cost. <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levio, so basic cost and Protego. You may begin. You're good. I'm good. I haven't even done anything yet. Lucky. Nothing lucky about it. This could be your first. Oh, dear. Very good. And off the table he goes. An excellent idea to show them that, Professor Snape. But if you don't mind me saying, it was... Pretty obvious uh, what you're about to do. Easy as that. Points to Slytherin. How many Thank points? You, Why do they keep saying the opportunity that? Opportunity to practice. Unfortunately, she doesn't react to my casting. Otherwise, we would battle it out. I'm sure we can go speak to Sebastian there. I think we will. He is a Slytherin student after all. I'm sure what he has to say will be interesting. Of course, Harry's sixth year I taught in here, but I also had to teach about the werewolves. A quick lesson I threw together, but one I thought rather topical. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Um, sure. Practice. All right, out we can go. All our quests complete. How oh, intriguing is an hour up there. What's going on here? Uh, a cat, of course. We must spend some time with this cat quickly. As one must whenever one comes across a cat. All right. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Um, dear. Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Indeed, very true. All right. Well, let's have a bit of a browse around her room first. See if there's anything worthy of being stored chest through there, but I don't believe we can get to it. So, off we go. Repero. 
fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. What task are we at? Right. Professor Lorenz, a salmon. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Right here, indeed. Got it. There we go. And then head this way through on the doors. Must be around here somewhere. Yes, I'm I sure. Help me. I can't really help you at the moment. We're in the middle of something. Just back here, this page over to us quickly and then see what is going on here. If only a new student were to help me with my sad predicament. If we must. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Uh, interesting. Sounds I awful. interest in a game that sprays you with odours. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. What a shame. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Why does she even want her gobstones back then? High places around the school, that's pretty much the entire school now, isn't it? If only we knew what they looked like. Ah, there we go. A gobstone, indeed. There, we can't seem to accio them. Or maybe we can. No, maybe not. We can head up there, nonetheless, I believe it's this way. Grab this field guide page while we're here. Maybe we can't. There we go. And that one. How fantastic. Two in one, just like that. And this was the wrong way, but at least we got those, which is very handy in do. We do need to get this gobstone. Ah. And, uh, we would appear somewhere around here is where the gobstone is located. See if Revelio helps us out. Grab this page ever so quickly. Can't quite find the gobstone, however. Might be on the next level, most likely. Let's have a look. For ourselves, all right. And there we have it, the next gobstone. Hello there, Professor. Don't mind me, just looking for a gobstone. Three, six of these, that seems a little excessive, don't you think? How many does she want? And does she need them all back? That is a shame to be sure, but we will continue trying to find these none the less. Maybe we should keep them for ourselves, I don't know. Alright, and across here, there we go. Easy to find that one fantastic. Through here, what's going on with this? Not something I know what to do. Maybe Leviosa? Ah, there we are. Gives us a field guide page. Quite brilliant. And the stairs. Just appearing there. Quite worrying, to be honest. What's to stop them from disappearing beneath us? Right, where is this next one? Let's head up these stairs, very ominous, them just appearing like this. Not quite how I remember them, however. Gosh, finding all of these is rather tiresome indeed. What are you up to now? Grand staircase, none of your business. I just grab some galleons from this chest here and move on. Very nice here. Mandrix, very good indeed. I wonder if we steal it. We do. We have taken that plaque for ourselves. That is now our plaque. Oh, no, please. I'm a fire of prayer and wondrous objects. 
comes, uh, indeed, that should be very uh, easy enough. Oops. Here we go. That's all of those, bar one, hopefully easy to locate in here. There it is, the gobstone. How wonderful. I shall dedicate all my future victories to you. Oh, very good. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. I completed the assignments, Professor. Right, here we go. Oh dear. Changing things up, having to press different keys now, but finally we make it very good. Repair. Thing, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. Right, where, what is he on about? Ah, here we go. All right, yes, we can definitely do this. Repair. All right, Professor. Well, thank you for that. Most definitely. Head through this way. Might as well head to this location here. We are ready to go to Hogs Mead. Well done for making it to the end of that lesson. Remember, the bell is for me and not for you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like the video class dismissed